Hi guys! Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. So we are here for yet another video and this is pretty exciting. This is our first video doing this type of, um, this is our first time doing this type of video and it's mm -hmm. basically a subscriber Q&A. So you know when we always ask you all to comment down below and leave us questions, it's because we really read your comments and we really want to answer your questions. Yes. But before we get too deep in the video, remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell because it really helps our channel okay yes, yeah. so you. this is dedicated to Keisha Damis I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong um but she left us a beautiful long message expressing her love for her channel love for our channel and mm -hmm. being a new subscriber and we really appreciate all of your questions and we actually going to answer all, all of, of your questions, questions okay so it's a lot of questions so we're going to go ahead and get right into it so um, the first question you just you didn't number it, but um, you basically said, "In our alone time, do we ever just think, and it comes to our mind, oh my God, Candy can be my daughter, or oh my God, Kai <laughs> can be my mother." So you can go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not really for me. In the beginning, I was reminded so much that um, when people ask me, "Is she a daughter?" You know, so in the beginning, I would think about it more, but I never really thought about it in that way because right. I didn't, I never, you know, looked at you that way. I never knew that mm -hmm. you were that much younger than me in the beginning. So, mm -hmm. um, so no. I've never thought of, I mean, <laughs> I've thought about things like, Small things like on the scale, like maybe Kai could have been my babysitter, but not my <laughs> <Yeah>. not, <laughs> but not my mom because okay, my mom, even though she's like technically a teen mom, she was like nineteen going on twenty. So to me, like sixteen, that's how old Kai would have been if she could have, wish she would have had me. I just don't look at it like mom. Right. figure right. like maybe a little older figure like I said like a babysitter I have thought about that but <laughs> it's impossible because I lived in Michigan she lived in Maryland thank god, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> okay and then the first question and it says this is for candy okay did you ever feel like Kai wouldn't have entertained you because of your age? Yes, I definitely did feel like in the beginning, which is why I lied about my age. But uh, you can you can see more of that in our um, how, we, how we met video. story. Okay? Yeah. You can see more of that. The next question she said, did you ever feel like you shouldn't have continued the relationship because you, you shouldn't have... Mm. Do you ever feel like you shouldn't have continued the relationship between you two because of the age gap? Um, there were times that I did feel like the age gap was proven to be too much. I think specifically when I was really um young in the relationship, like, you know, 20, 21, I did feel like that I was so different and I think I had to trust to her a lot mm -hmm. that I was becoming different. Mm -hmm. And when she was saying I was changing, I really was changing <laughs> right. because I was becoming, you <laughs> who know, you were. who I was yeah. and not just, you know, who, um, you know, you kind of raised to be. I had to figure out who I was, what I liked, what I liked to do. My, and sometimes it meant a total 180 of the person that she knew. Right. But I kind of had to explain that I wasn't just becoming a different girlfriend, but I was becoming a different daughter, a different sister, a different version of Candy, period. Right. Um, the next question is, how did you feel knowing Kai had kids going into a relationship? <laughs> what was your initial thoughts? How did you feel? Um, initially, I didn't really feel anything because, see... Me and Kai's kids, it's interesting what age can do. So when we first met, her kids were like um, relatively young, younger than me. And I just kind of looked at it like, oh, these are just young, you know, kids. Right. Even though there's only a few years of difference between us. Uh, now that we are all adults, because she has now two adult children, yeah. now it, it's kind of interesting in a way. <laughs> like, certain things will happen. Like, I will be out, and they will think that, you know, she's the mom, and she's with her kids. And yeah. Me. So, I, you know, I don't like that. I don't I think don't like I'm either. never going to really get used to it. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, And then it was just kind of strange to me to see how much her children kind of rely on me for things yeah. and I feel like I'm not that much older than them <laughs> for them to rely on me for things but I 
I do like it at the end of the day too. Um, now it's for you, Kai. Okay. And I'll read off the questions. Okay. Okay. So it says, knowing Candy Age in the beginning, what was your initial thoughts and how did you feel about it? Um, so I didn't know her age in the beginning. That's, right. Again, if you're looking at, at how, how we met. met video, you'll see that I did not know her age. She told me she was older. <laughs> um, but we had talked for so long um, before I found out the truth that mm -hmm. I kind of just you know, kind of just felt like I did. So I just went along with it. So okay. I didn't know. Okay. And did you ever feel like, oh my God, no, I would never be with someone so young. Yes. Okay. Um, definitely uh, when I found out that you had not told the truth about your age, you know, I think mm -hmm. we discussed this and I told you that had I known how old you were, it probably would not have gone as, as far, far as, as it did. Yeah, as far as it did. But, okay. Know. But I mean, now looking back, I know that it's possible. Okay. You know, but just how where I was back then, probably not. So just derailing a little bit, because I know we've been seeing like it's been seem seeing like hmm, seeming like we've been seeing a lot of like memes, and I even talked about it today on the real that mm -hmm. we love the real. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. the real big time. <laughs> if y'all found this video, I absolutely love y'all. We would love to be on y'all show. But anyways. <laughs> Um, they were just talking about age and, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people really don't understand, like, Tamira's comment today about how she needed to be with someone in her age group don't even understand how we communicate with um, each other. Well, so, I, was that ever a concern of yours? Is no. Like how we would communicate? <clears throat> I feel like, um... I feel like we communicated so much um, mm -hmm. because we did not we, we, we did not live in the same state. So we had a lot of time to communicate over the phone, mm -hmm. you know, um, through the game that we played, that we yeah. met on. Like, we had a lot of time to converse and get to know each other. So the physical aspect was not there and, you know, and everything else. So we was just able to fall in love with who the other person was mm -hmm. uh, which made me appreciate who you are even more now okay and I will say that even though you know obviously there are certain things that like I may talk about or Kai may talk about when we may be like I don't know what that is like mm -hmm. and we look at each other like aliens but it's just it's always a learning lesson for me it's always something you know to talk about even something as small as you know she's telling me about some candy that she used to eat that I just never heard of and, right you know she's going to the store and finding it for me so that I can try it it's just a fun different experience so don't think that you can't communicate with someone just because you literally didn't live in the same time frame that's really yeah because that was something that somebody actually said like, like it was Tamara oh, okay, she was yeah. like she needs someone to like who knows what who knows who well, Punky, Punky Brewster, Brewster is I know who yeah. Punky Brewster is <laughs> <laughs> I know who Punky, Punky Brewster is but like, so, honestly know. like some of the music I listen to I've never references heard. I shows I've seen movies I've seen she's looking at me like what well, I'm like, how don't you know what this is? Yeah, like, and she's like, I watch this with my grandma. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know, I still don't know what it is. So it's not not just because you're in that age. I mean, no. especially when you come from two two different sides of, of the world. The world yeah. You know, you're gonna have a lot of differences, yeah. um, which is gonna be a lot of great experiences for your mate. But you know, you also will have a lot of things in common. You know, which we do. We vibe well. We you know, always can come together and decide where we want to go, where we want to eat, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So, you know, I feel like you just have to be able to, I, you just either have it or you don't. Exactly. <laughs> so let me get to this last question, okay. baby. Um, so the last question she said is for the both of us. Okay. And she says, do you ever feel like you two were not for each other? Um, I think, yeah, but I don't think that that had anything to do with an age gap. I think... When you've been in a relationship with someone, as long as me and Kai have been together, there are definitely times and trials that you may question, is this person right for me? Right. Is it someone else? So, But I don't think it had anything to do with how old she was ever. I think that we both have been at a point where, you know, things have gotten tough and we might, might question ourselves like mm -hmm. you know is this the right situation you know right. maybe maybe somebody was right about the fact that you know I'm too old to be with somebody that's young or she's too young to really you know level up to what what I'm expecting or whatever but at the end of the day you know you know when somebody's right for you 
-hmm. You know, we've tried to be away from each other in one to two days. It's a problem. We can't (laughs) wait to see each other. I know. You know, so you know when somebody is right for you and you know when you don't feel right when they're not around, you know, so... You know, don't be Billy Badass. Talk about it. Make it work. Exactly. <laughs> and then the last question is, do you ever feel like there is a fulfillment that you cannot feel in Kai life and vice versa? Um, I personally don't because, like I said in our previous videos, me and Kai are really good with communicating. Even when it gets really hard, it gets really challenging. Mm. So, um... The easy thing, honestly, is us communicating about life goals. Like, we never had a problem with that, with saying, I want this out of life, X, Y, and Z, and being adamant um, about it. So, Mm -hmm. I think that I'm always able to fulfill the things that Kai needs in life because she always tells me Mm -hmm. the things that she needs in life. And I try to adapt and compromise with the things that she needs Mm -hmm. uh, while still keeping myself happy. Right. And and it's plenty of things that, you know, she has come into the relationship and said, you know, certain things for me is a deal breaker. You know, are these things that you can accept and deal with? You know, yes or no, you know, because, you know, I got to be true to myself and I can understand that, you know. So, you know, again, as a person, you just have to say, you know, you know, I I love her and I care about her and, you know, I want to be here. So I'm going to support her and she's going to support me. And that's just how it goes. That's how it goes. (laughs) All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Keisha, so, so much, much for submitting these questions. This was so fun. Was this fun? This is fun. This is fun. Okay. And we want more questions. You know, Me sometimes too. we can't always think about what you guys no, want to hear. We sit here and we think, we're like, what do you want to talk about? What do you want and to And I'm like, I generally want to help y'all. You know, if I can help one person, that's great. So, yeah. you know, I don't come on here to try to make a mockery out of anything. I just really want to help y'all and come up with real topics. So, if you have any topics that you feel like you want us to answer, yeah. you know, just please leave, leave the comments down below. Mm-hmm. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Notification bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it really, really helps. And just to touch on the questions really, really quick too. They can be questions personally for us and they can also be questions of help. Um, there's also it reminds me there was another girl in my DMs that um, needed some personal help. So even if you need personal help, you don't feel comfortable, you can also follow me and Kai on social media, our Instagram pages, and DM us messages. And if you want to remain anonymous, that's totally okay. Mm-hmm. We'll be able to answer and mm-hmm. hopefully help a little bit with the little bit of wisdom and knowledge that we got over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And we'll See y'all next time. Bye.